What up, Crazy Cakes? I am here with you chilling on a Friday night, letting you know there is no tsunami danger from the earthquake off the coast of California. That's right, we're talking about a 5.1 earthquake just west of Petrolia, California. There's no tsunami danger. It happened just off shore and it is 27 kilometers deep and on the same seam where the 6.3 Panama, 6.1 here, earthquake happened earlier. And there have been reports of a five earthquake happening with a mild earthquake swarm in Puerto Rico. And we're watching out for earthquakes because the sun has been on fire and lit lately with a lot of activity multiple coronal mass ejections and solar flares coming and technically all of july july was the first time we saw an x-class flare for solar cycle 25 <clears throat> so the sun has just been getting busy very active and as you can see here we now have count them one two three four sunspots and one of these sunspots ar2844 is very rare that's right. Let's talk about it, shall we? We got the far side active regions I was telling you about. I'll show you some images of those in a bit. But first, let's talk about the high latitude sunspot. An unusual sunspot has emerged in the sun's southern hemisphere. Located 43 degrees south of the sun's equator, AR2844 is a rare high latitude sunspot. That's right. It is rare. Sunspots are mostly equatorial phenomena. According to Solar Terrestrial Center of Excellence, 95% of sunspots in the historical record have latitude less than 30 degrees, and nearly three quarters were crowded within 20 degrees of the sun's equator. So this makes AR2844 an outlier, located two to three times as far from the equator as typical sunspot. Since the space age began, only a handful of sunspots have been seen at such high latitudes. So now is the time to look for them. Research shows that the high latitude sunspots appear more often during the early years of solar cycle. And solar cycle 25 is just getting started. That's right, man. The sun has solar activity has been overperforming everybody's guesses and estimates, except for me and Scott McIntosh. But I don't want to throw my arm out, patting myself on the back because I don't have health insurance. Sprite sightings, sometimes the best place to look for lightning is above the clouds. Okay, great. On July 14th, Peter Horlick witnessed eerie red forms leaping up from an electrical storm. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. Sprites. Are they magic? Are they just lights in the sky? Or could they be dimensional aliens? Maybe we'll never know. Maybe we'll find out tomorrow. So nobody knows what the sun is going to do next. But I guessed we we're going to have a very active solar cycle 25. So far, I have been right. And we've seen our first X-class flare this month. And we have seen more and more sunspots showing up. And it looks like we're having another one turning around on the western limb. Or is it stage left or stage west? Stage East? I can just confuse myself. We got Felicia still spinning like crazy, intensifying. I think it even got to Category 5, I think. Jim Tang, the astronaut's favorite weatherman, giving it the old chef's kiss. Her. We got Infa Fabian is now a severe tropical storm, according to the GMA, and can reach typhoon intensity around Tuesday. Local time Infa is expected to impact Taiwan or eastern China late this week. Or next weekend. You had um, a shooting at the Washington baseball game earlier. I missed the video of people running out. Let me rewind it back. Whoopsie. See that? People are like, what? Because somebody's firing a gun. I think two or three people got shot. You had more European floods as Austria got hit with super catastrophic flooding. This following Belgium and Germany's catastrophic flooding. The fires are still going nuts. This is the Tamarack Fire in California. 
and the storms and the lightning have been super duper impressive. This brought to us by Nicholas Isabella in New York City later or earlier this evening. This is a woman throwing a chess piece. I repeat, this is a woman throwing a chess piece. Remember, Scott McIntosh is the in-car scientist who came up with a theory showing how he may have found evidence that Solar Cycle 25 will have the Terminator, which will kickstart the sun's heart and put this solar cycle into maximum overdrive, meaning we could get a very, very strong Solar Cycle 25, which would be good news because empires and countries fall during solar minimums, like things get super crappy, and then things get better during solar maximums. And that's theory, and one that I like. We've still got all the gas giants. That means the big planets on the same side of the sun. We're talking Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. So we're looking for maximum instability since there's no balance. And you have planetary orbital angular momentum, which seems to increase earthquakes and volcanoes. And then, like I said, the sun has just been kind of going nuts in July, getting very, very active. So stay tuned, stay alert, stay cool. And try to have fun where you can. All right, everybody, have a great evening. I'm your Planetary Defense Commander, Star Lord New Thor 7 the T. I'll be around. That's what I do. All right, talk to y'all soon. God bless everyone.